Today we are trying to show you about difference between steel and stainless steel. So let's get started. Wrought iron. Wrought iron refers to both the process of formation and a type of metal. It is a specific variety of iron with various additives making it a low corrosive and more pliable. It is specifically used for finished iron goods, however, it is a general term for the commodity. Wrought iron is the type of iron which can easily be welded and forged. It is a mechanical mixture of refined metallic iron having a low carbon content with 1-3% to siliceous slag called iron silicate. Wrought iron is saturated with small and twisted fibers of iron silicate called slag. The slag converts the chemical properties of iron sufficiently to develop a new metal. Raw iron is valued for its tensile strength, corrosiveness, malleability, and well-defined finish. It does not exhibit ugly patches when corroding, but iron rust is distributed in it to give it a brownish finish. In the 18th and 19th centuries, raw iron was given many terms according to its quality and form. Pig and cast iron, the two basic materials of raw iron, are very brittle due to the higher percentage of carbon and have a lower melting temperature as compared to steel and iron. In cast iron and pig iron, excess slag has to be removed in order to produce quality wrought iron. Wrought iron has now been taken over by mild steel. The term still continues as raw, which means work by hand. Although commercially valuable material as furniture, gates, nuts and bolts are said to have been made of wrought iron, they are made out of mild steel. Steel Steel is an alloy of carbon, iron, and other elements. Iron contains various impurities such as manganese, sulfur, phosphorus, and silicon. In manufacturing steel, the slug in the form of these impurities is removed and the desired alloying elements are added. The carbon content in steel generally classifies it. High carbon steel is recommended for use in dyes and cutting tools because of its great hardness. In sheet cutting and structural work, steel having a median carbon or low carbon content is recommended because of its capability for tooling and welding. Alloy steels containing one or more elements of specific characteristics are widely used. Alloy steel having a high tensile strength and smoothness is aluminum steel. On account of its great hardness, tensile strength, and elasticity, chromium steel is used in automobile and airplane parts. Nickel steel, because of its high tensile strength containing high carbon steel and its non brittleness is the most widely used alloy. Nickel chromium steel is recommended for armor plating due to its shock resistant quality. One raw iron contains pure iron with a glassy material which is iron silicate while steel's carbon content is also present. Two, steel has more tensile strength and more vulnerability to corrosion than raw iron with some exceptions. Three, steel products require more intensive workmanship as compared to raw iron. 